Hello everybody, Jared Voley here for creativestandup.com. This video, we're going to talk about how do you perform on a super small show where you don't have, you don't have enough audience members or maybe the audience members are, are all comedians. <clears throat> so what do you do on the shows that are obviously busts? Um, if you are a new comedian, this is unfortunately something that you are going to, um, you're going to come up against this uh, from time to time for sure. Um, I would say my, for me, what I did, <clears throat> I would say start looking at these these tiny shows or the, 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 the audiences that don't meet your expectations. View that as an opportunity to, to try something new that you were not planning on. So what most people are going to do when they get on stage, they're going to say, or, or like you know, the open mic, they get on stage, there are three people in the audience, and then there's a bunch of comedians, and their default seems to be, I'm going to say the jokes that I was already going to say, whether it's a good show or a bad, I'm just going to do the exact same thing, and I'm gonna, then I'm going to get off stage and I'm going to start complaining about it. That's kind of the default that a lot of people have. I would encourage you to, to um, instead of looking at that negative, looking at what the situation is offering you. The, the worst shows that I've been on have been some of the shows that have offered me the most growth as a comedian. I don't think that crowd work would be... Um, like crowd work is pretty much what I do. Like I, I cannot, I cannot end or go from beginning to end for a, in a show without talking to the audience. And I don't plan on doing this ever. Like I have no point in my material where I say, ask something in the audience, but I can't get from start to finish without talking to them. And I believe that's because every time I've had these bad shows, I've, said, you know, I have this list of stuff that I wanted to do, but this stuff was built for, you know, a, a, some, some other audience, right? This is not the, the best fit for, for my situation. So instead of ignoring, ignoring the obvious, why don't you search for something that, uh, that will actually offer you something new? That will offer you a way of growing. Right, because I, I know that this is probably not going to work. Right, my 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 normal my normal stuff, my normal jokes are not going to. If I go go on stage, three people, and I say, "Hey, everybody, how are you doing today?" So driving over here, I noticed right then, right, three people are in the audience, and they're just like, "Oh God, this is you're good. You 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 put the mask on." and you, you start bullshitting the audience, right? But there are three people there. Why would you do that, right? So you have this fourth wall that's so obvious that you're not being real with them, and that practically guarantees that your material is not going to work. So instead of just saying, well, it's, it's the audience's fault or there was a bad fit for my material, if there's a bad fit, then you shouldn't be doing this material, right? You should abandon it and use it later. Play around with it later, right? But use the unique opportunity that that situation is giving you to work on something new. And my favorite thing is crowd work. I love doing crowd work because you don't really know what's going to happen. But a lot of the, the observations uh, of the, the tangents that I go on uh, inside my my uh, actual material, a lot of those tangents were accidental, right? They were just me talking, and then maybe I'm not even interrupted by the audience. I'm just talking, and then I accidentally go on a tangent, but I just keep going, right? Because I can always come back, but I might as well explore and see what new opportunities there are, right? Because if there's only three people in the audience, you have almost nothing to lose, Right? So that is an awesome opportunity to just fuck around and have fun. 
All right, so these super, super small shows. So I would say do some crowd work, but the number one thing I would say, even, even before that, is that you just be real with them, right? You don't have to pretend that this is exactly what you were going, uh, what you were expecting. You don't even have to say that, that this is a good situation. You can be like, wow, this is a letdown. That's fine. Being real with the audience is at least going to get you somewhere, right? As opposed to bullshitting the audience and going, yep, it didn't work. Just like I, just like, you know, everybody else that tried it also didn't work. It's not going to help you grow at all. Yeah, so that looks actually pretty much what I wanted to say. Uh, opportunity, use, use it as an opportunity to abandon your expectations. Okay, abandon, uh, don't, a super small show should not go, should not develop the same way you thought it would before you get on stage, right? If you know, if you can get on stage for a super small show, there's only a couple of people, there's so... Um, there's not enough people for group think, right? You can't just group them all together because there's only like three or four of them, right? So you need to use that as an opportunity to be super present with the audience and be real with them. Take the mask off and really accept that it's, you're going to go into the unknown, right? So I would say a small show you need to do something new that is uncomfortable for you, all right? So I mean, maybe, maybe also real, real and uncomfortable with you, uh, uncomfortable for you, all right? And that is going to be interesting because it's going to teach you something, right? You will not waste that. But if you're super real with the audience, then there's a good chance that that realness is going to be unique and it's actually going to, you know, like, pull up a red flag with the audience member, the, red, the audience member is going to go, hold on, wait, this, this is different. I don't know why it's different yet, but this is different. All right, that is where you want to be on a small show. You want three people or however many going, okay, like I mean, every other comedian came on and, and did jokes, but I'm going to pay attention to this guy because this one is being real. And I'm kind of curious of what's going to happen because this is, this is different. It's unique. And unique is worth paying attention to. So that's my advice on doing uh, super small shows. Um, looking forward to your guys' comments on this. What do you guys do whenever you are um, having a small show or whenever a, an audience clearly isn't going to meet your expectations? So I'm Jared Voley for creativestandup.com.